Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm so excited to be doing this because I actually did a video like this a few years ago and I was randomly coming across my old videos and I was like, I need to do an updated version of this. So I am bringing you guys dupes to your favorite high-end makeup. So not only am I showing you guys dupes for expensive products, but I'm showing you dupes for those expensive products that are our favorites. For the ones that majority of people love, the ones that you hear people talk about a lot. So I have the Fenty foundation, I have the Smashbox primer, NARS blushes, all of the high-end products you hear people love and talk about all the time, I got dupes for. So I'm gonna start off with one of my all-time favorite primers ever. The tube is pretty much nearly empty. I'm like squeezing it at this point. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's just a really great silicone-based primer. It leaves me feeling super smooth without feeling too greasy and it fills in my pores really nicely. And I found that an amazing dupe is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. This one has that same silicone base that isn't too thick, isn't too greasy, but isn't too slippery either. It also fills in the pores really nicely as well and I love how this one has a pump. So you actually get a pump on the drugstore one, which I love. So I have two blushes to share with you guys that I really wanna show you the dupes for. So the first one is the NARS blush. I love these NARS blushes. They're not overly pigmented and they're obviously not not pigmented. They just have that great amount of pigmentation for blush because you kinda don't really wanna overdo blush that much. This one is in the shade Orgasm. I really love this shade. It looks like a super hot pink in the pan, but it's really not. It's like a really nice kind of pinky peachy with this gold sheen. And the dupe that I have is the Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. Now I know when you look at the two in the pan, they do not even look like dupes. Like when I was searching my collection for dupes, I was like, no, I highly doubt this is gonna be a dupe, but I just decided to swatch it and it is. This one looks a lot peachier in the pan and this one looks a lot pinkier in the pan. But when you actually swatch them, apply them and use them on the face, they're a really nice dupe. They both have that like peachy pinky, vibe with like that slight gold sheen and they both apply really nicely the only difference is the milani one is slightly more peachy and the nars one is slightly more pinky but once they're on the face and once they're swatched they're really really similar next blush i have is the Too faced i will always love you blush i really love this this is a really pretty nude that has like this peachy undertone it looks really flawless on the skin it lasts really long and again it's not overly pigmented which i like in a blush so the dupe that I found for it is the Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle Blush. I also am in love with this. I use this blush all the time. Again, it's that perfect nude with that peachy kind of undertone slightly. And again, not too overly pigmented. It just looks really smooth on the skin and lasts really long too. The formula is a little bit drier on the Wet n Wild one, whereas the Too Faced one is a little bit smoother. But once you actually apply them on the skin, to be honest, they look really, really, really similar. So next I want to share with you guys a dupe for powders that I've been loving. I love both of these powders separately and it just dawned on me the other day that they're complete dupes. Have you ever done that? Like loved a drugstore product and loved a high-end one and then you're like, wait, I love them both because they're literally identical. So this is the Fenty um, Invisimat Blotting Powder. This is marketed as a blotting powder. I use it as a setting powder too though. Like I really like it for that. It works for me. It is really nice because it's super translucent and I don't get any flashback. And I also love my NYX um, HD finishing powder. And I find that these are really alike. One, there's no flashback, it's completely translucent. And I love how this makes my skin look super duper smooth. Both of them look really HD on the skin. They look really good on camera. As you can see, I've hit pan on my drugstore one, the NYX one, because I use this literally all the time. So next I wanna share with you guys a highlight dupe and immediately when I tested out this new drugstore highlight that you guys know I've been obsessing over, immediately when I tested it out, it reminded me of Becca and Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop. It's a beautiful gold highlight, but it's more of that peach gold. Like if you compare this to other gold highlights like Estee Lauder Heat Wave or Makeup Forever number two, if you compare it to those, you'll see the difference. Those are just more of a true gold. Whereas these two definitely have a strong peach undertone, but I love it. I don't know, it just looks so good on the skin. I love me a gold highlight, but there's something about a nice peach undertone that just looks really flattering, especially on different skin tones. Peach really would look flattering. I haven't even said the, which one this is. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. The Maybelline one is also very wet looking on the skin. And funny enough, you guys will see in the swatches, the Maybelline one has more of a reflect and it looks a little bit more intense than the Becca one, which is weird, right? Cause you would think, like when I think of an intense highlight, this is pretty intense, but this is more reflective, more intense, more metallic. They both just looks really beautiful on the skin. And I kind of like this one, like I reach for this one a little bit more now than they do Champagne Pop 
just because I, I like the formula of this one a little bit more. All right, so last cheek product I want to share with you guys is one that I already recently showed you, but this is too good not to mention it twice, you guys. Like, I feel like this is such an amazing dupe. You guys know I'm obsessed with MAC Uninterrupted Bronzer. It's just the most beautiful, like, warm bronzer. If you are a tan to medium skin tone, you are going to love this as your bronzer because it just adds such warmth. If you are lighter skin, you definitely don't want to touch this as a bronzer. It's going to be way too orange. When my tan fades, I don't even come, like, I won't even go near this bronzer. But when I have a tan on, it looks so good. And the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer in the shade Sun Queen is such a spot on dupe, you guys, like bomb. The formulas are actually really similar too. Like in the pan, they both have like that drier texture. Like when you rub them, they're definitely not smooth. They have like that dry packed texture. But once you apply them on the skin, they are super pigmented and super duper smooth. So now let's get into some face products. I wanna share with you guys a foundation dupe that I found for the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I know everyone is talking about this and everyone wants to get their hands on this new foundation. I really love this foundation. It is a little bit too dry for me for most days, but if I'm having a little bit of an eye of combination skin, so if my skin's a little bit oilier on that day, this is definitely a go-to. And I also like to use this as a mixer or on the T-zone since I have a super oily T-zone because this foundation is extremely, extremely matte. It's also very lightweight and it dries very fast. I would say it's just like an ultra matte, super dry foundation. So it's definitely more for oily skin and not dry skin. So last night while I was searching for dupes, I was asking myself like, Amy, is there a foundation that you have already in your collection that's a dupe for this and I was thinking 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 and it really didn't take long for me to immediately think about the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation these are so alike and I'll tell you why they're both really thin and runny the the Fenty one is definitely thinner it's more of like a really almost watery not watery but just very very thin anyways they're both like a really light formula but they both dry very quickly and they both dry on their own like settle down on their own you do not need to set these with powder they really do settle and dry down to an extreme ultra matte powder finish almost like they look like they've been powdered without even being powdered they set down beautifully and they last really really long without getting super oily after hours it's amazing now the colors in these two are definitely different if you want to talk about shade dupes this is 290 and this is 310 290 is neutral olive and 310 i just find is not as olive and not as um golden as the fenty one is this one's a little bit more neutral a little bit more neutral warm whereas this is definitely more golden olive but either way both of them match me like i can get away with both of them the fenty one is a little bit drier and a little bit more matte than the maybelline one but either way the formulas are really 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 similar so let's talk brows really quickly i've actually really been loving the anastasia brow wiz which Funny enough, I was never really a fan of the Brow Wiz, but I think that was due more to me not liking brow pencils. I didn't really like using brow pencil for the longest time, and then I fell in love with the Urban Decay Brow Beater, which is still like a fave of mine, but then I kind of was like, mm, let me give Brow Wiz another try, and I really love it. It just applies smoothly, it's pigmented, not too pigmented though. The spoolie is really nice. It's just a great go-to brow pencil for me and I fell in love with, after trying for the first time a few weeks ago, I think two or three weeks ago, the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. This is such a close dupe to this, and I'll tell you why. They both apply smoothly, but not too harsh and not too intense. Very easy to blend out too when you rub your spoolie too, through it. I'm picky with brow pencils because a lot of the times they're just too waxy of feeling. They're not smooth enough, and when you go to blend them out, they just look, I don't know, they just don't blend nicely but I really love these two and I find that they're a really close dupe. Okay, so I'm really excited to share this with you guys because this is like my ultimate fave concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This concealer is extremely, extremely full coverage and it just gives you that super glam look, but I personally don't find it looks that cakey. The trick with this concealer is you don't need to apply a lot of it. If you just apply like one or two strokes, you do get great coverage without looking cakey. If you apply a lot, it can look a little bit cakey, but once you kind of blend it up with the beauty blender, I find that it really looks nice on the skin. And what I really love about this concealer too is it's super matte. So it actually sets on its own. You don't need to set this concealer with powder. You really don't. I, a lot of days, don't even set it, and it looks really good, and it doesn't crease. And if it creases, it's like the tiniest little crease, and you pat it out, and it's gone. So I really love this concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Medium, which, which works perfectly for me. I want to share this as a dupe with it for you guys. Now, I will say, out of all the dupes, these are the two that are, that are, I don't know how to say this, but like, 
that are not as close of dupes as the other ones, you know what I'm saying? But they are really good like alternatives. I'm just really picky when I share with you guys dupes, like I'm picky. I want to share with you guys like almost spot on dupes. Like they got to be an 85% plus dupe. And for me, these are like a 75% dupe. You know what I'm saying? There's like that little bit that's missing. So I'm a little bit picky with dupes, but I still had to share this with you guys because this is a hard concealer to dupe. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a really unique concealer, but this Maybelline one does come pretty close. This Maybelline one is definitely a little bit of a closer dupe to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I've always said that those two are like almost identical, but this is also a pretty good alternative to the Tarte one. So it's also very full coverage. This is a really awesome, super full coverage concealer. You don't need a lot of it. The only thing that kind of makes these two different is that this one dries down and settles to a matte finish, whereas this one doesn't really dry down. It just stays and has that really nice healthy finish. So now I have a mascara dupe to share with you guys, which I know you're not going to be shocked about this. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I actually got this in a PR package a few months ago now, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And as soon as I got this in the mail, I instantly thought of this. I knew for a fact that they were trying to like dupe it a little bit. I actually have an entire video comparing these two. Now I'll tell you guys the similarities and the differences. They both apply really dark and they have like that a little bit of that wetter formula and they do make your lashes super voluminous. If you watch the video that I did, then you'll notice that one coat of the Too Faced equals two coats of the L'Oreal and then two coats of this equals four coats of this. So this one is just kind of double the volume, double the length, but I don't really use the Too Faced one. I'm a drugstore mascara kind of girl. I'm not gonna be spending $30 on mascara. The only thing is that it does flake, you guys, it flakes and I hate that about it. This will flake if you touch your lashes. So if I know I'm like gonna be touching my lashes that day for whatever reason, maybe I'm putting on falsies or if you really like pile it on too much, but if I don't need a super long lasting mascara for that day, I still go for this because the way it applies is that beautiful. Like it's worth risking the flake. I wish that they would just upgrade the formula and not have it flake, but the Too Faced one does flake a little bit too. So last two dupes are two liquid lipsticks. The first one is Kat Von D's Lolita. This is a really beautiful kind of brick tone, mauve berry tone shade. It's really, really pretty. And the formula is super lightweight. If you want like a very full coverage, you do kind of have to apply it twice, but it's such a beautiful color. And the dupe for it is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Exotic. You guys, these two are so identical in shade. Like the only difference in them is that the NYX one is a little bit more, little bit more pink, like slightly more pink, whereas the Lolita is slightly more muted. But other than that, they are such close color dupes. In terms of the formula, the Kat Von D is definitely more liquidy, a little bit more watery, whereas the NYX one is definitely a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more moussey. So the next dupe I have for you guys is actually a new purchase for me. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in Bikini Babe. Now I gotta say, this is like my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks ever. I do have, I mean, I have, I really like the Stila ones too. I like the Jeffree Star and I like the Dose of Colors but I really love the Huda ones. They just apply so nice on the lips and they have more of a water formula so they look really lightweight and smooth and the dupe for it is literally like almost a spot on color match is the um, NYX Lip Lingerie. The NYX Lip Lingeries, all of the shades are like dupes for high-end liquid lipsticks. They're amazing, they came out with great shades. The Huda one is like full pigment, full pigmentation, whereas the NYX one, you definitely have to build it up and do a second layer. But other than that, they are spot on dupes in terms of the shade. And both formulas, I really enjoy. I actually really love the NYX Lip Lingerie formula too. All right, you guys, so that is it for the dupes for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing dupes to your favorite high-end makeup products. Please don't forget to like thumbs up if you enjoyed these types of videos, and I will definitely keep doing more dupes videos. I also wanted to mention, I know normally I would do like a half high-end half drugstore and put the dupes on my face but I figured I would kick it old school for today the way I used to do it and just do swatches and sit down and chit chat with you guys and show you guys the dupes of course you know I will keep doing dupe tutorials too but I also like the sit down chit chat ones too so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and as always I will see you guys in my next one bye guys Mwah.